Hello guys, it's Miglev back again, back here on the testing server, and I got some access, or I think everyone has access this weekend for the new Orcs Mania event they're trying out with the arenas, I might talk about that in the future, but this video is not about that. This video is all about the new ST Forge, and since I have a little bit of Forge Fire, and these tokens that you get uh, from the dungeon solo keys right now in uh, the real uh, game, uh, I can now craft the STs here. So I'm just going to do the warrior set in this video. So if you want me to do the hunter set, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. But to craft this, I do have forge fire and I need a token as well. Um, uh, and then you gotta redeem one of those. Uh, right, it's one ability. So like that, now we can forge one burlap cow. Let's see if it can load. Let's do a ring. And there we go. There we go. And here we have the ring. We're going to check out all the items by themselves first and then combine them all to a set. Let's do the armor. Uh, we do need some. We don't, do not need some more forge fire. I, I was stupid there. Uh, we do have armor. Ah, I need 80, so two of those, that's uh, expensive. Uh, there we go. Now we only uh, miss the axe. Do we gotta have a weapon, jagged hatchet, one of those, one of those. And there we have the whole warrior ST set. But before I check out this ST set, Go check out my 4,000 gold giveaway. If you want to get the chance on getting some free gold, I'll roll the winners around the 24th of June. So be sure to enter that. So let's start off by looking at the Jagged Hatchet, 275 to 290 damage. That's a lot of damage per bullet, but the rate of fire is only 50%. The range is a little bit longer than a normal sword, uh, a little bit than one tile. The equipment tooltip says it's bleeding, so the bullets might be bleeding. And the XP bonus is sadly only 5%. Ooh. I like those bullets. We gotta check out this in a dungeon. I like that they're flashing a little bit. Uh, let's get a key. Uh, something with the health. Let's do a high tech terror. With the bullets staying like this, just, it just screams that it's bleeding. How much damage it does, we can't really see. It seems like when you hit the bullet, uh, it disappears. It doesn't stay there either way. Okay, let's see on... Look at that HP. That's a lot of bleeding damage. Okay, that's interesting. I'm not really sure which stage of bleeding this sword actually is. Uh, I think there might be some more information on that later or at the blog post for the recent update with the new bleeding mechanic, but it's interesting, but I would have liked the uh, sword or the info here to say how much bleeding damage the bleeding actually does and i wonder if it's armor pierced or just normal damage uh, and will uh, be uh, a little bit less with the amount of defense the target has this helmet works with the ring of the set the burlap cowl uh, if wearing with headless ted which is the ring which is a headless teddy bear that's pretty grim uh, Gain a 2.5 second paralysis effect within 4.5 squares on activation. Uh, so that's every time you use the ability. Cool down 5 seconds. And then it's just berserks for 5 seconds. Uh, and it also gives 5 defense. Just a normal helmet that um, unfortunately does not speed you. But the overalls of endurance is the armor. And on taking at least 20 damage, you get plus 10 defense for 5 seconds, and the cooldown is 6 seconds. That is a very nice cooldown with the amount of uh, upkeep the defense bonus has. And uh, 
the armor gives you 40 HP, 17 defense, 7 vitality, and 6 fame bonus. Counting with the defense you get on taking a bullet for at least 20 damage, it's 27 defense for this armor. So by itself, it's a pretty strong armor, and I like the plus 40 HP uh, that they've added on that. And let's look on the headless head, which is the last piece of this ST set. It's a headless teddy bear, what can I say? 90 HP and 60 dexterity and 4 XP bonus. And this is how I look with the whole set. I do like this skin. This is actually my first reaction of seeing this. It's a little bit small. It's a little bit thin. But now the sword is updated. Uh, here it's smaller axe it seems like. No, it's not updated at all. It's just me. There, or is it yeah the animation when throwing is a little bit changed and it's just axes or clevers so what i want to take a look on is the armor and the burlap cowl so let's try to go into a key i'm not sure which let's do a nest I'm not sure the nest is the best alternative for a dungeon. It doesn't say how much bleeding it has. You get a nice attack bonus here. Holy moly, you get 125 attack. Whoa, that is actually crazy. Where's the paralysis effect? Uh, okay. Uh, do I gain any defense? Okay, there I get my defense. But gain a 2.5 second paralysis effect within 2.5 squares. Ah, right. There we go. So, on the ability, we do paralyze all the em enemies around us. Uh, and the cooldown is uh, 5 seconds. So, you can do that every 5 seconds. That's pretty nice, but this set with 125 attack, this might be a nice contender to actually damage in the game. Just to try out the sword here, the jagged hatchet, I uh, just wanted to see the bleeding effect on the gods. It's not that much damage. And the bullet stay, stays in there for a while, so running, having something run off you is maybe a little bit beneficial I would like to see exactly how much damage it is let's do this abyss now with something with a quest marker we can look take a look on how much the bleeding actually is uh, just okay I want your Malphas to only get one I gotta do a counting 956 Okay. It's so hard to count this, but I, I'll do it when I take a look on the footage. Let's kill Malthus here. So, this combination of armor and everything. Why did I take out that? So, this combination with sword and everything with this set, getting 125 attack in total could be actually a nice contender to some damage because i think we actually do a lot of damage because malfas took around 180 150 uh, for each bullet and then bleeding on top of that but i like this sd sets more than others the only thing you lack in is a, a bit in speed and defense but you do get to plus 10 from the armor so that isn't really a problem and you get plus 240 hp which is a lot so the speed is the only thing that you're lacking with this set and it's an interesting mechanic and i do like the bullets for the jagged hatchet being a little bit animated and uh, it's only the skin then with the speed that's a little bit weird i think it's smaller than normal sd sets but maybe that's a choice they wanted to make with the new sd sets well, what did you think about the Kill Billy Warrior set? If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, check out my giveaway, subscribe to the channel, join my Discord, do everything like that. I do have a member function on the channel if you want to take a look on that, and I'll see you guys later in another video. Bye-bye.